today we're going to be looking at one of the common faults on the 350Z, which is a stretched handbrake cable. <laughs> So I've been having this since I've owned the car. So I used to have to only pull up a couple and that's it, the handbrake was on full. But slowly but surely I've had to go higher and higher and higher. And even to the point now it's almost pointing at the roof of the car. So I've managed to pick up a copy part. So it's not an original Nissan part. And I'm gonna take you through how to change this. Right, let's get to it. So this is on a DE engined car. I can't imagine it's very different on the HR, but obviously some bits of the interior are different, but I'm sure the handbrake section is all the same. First thing we need to do is take the ashtray out. Now mine's slightly different, but it still sits in the same place. Now, if you look very carefully, I'm gonna try sticking my light on so you can see. You can see in here, I don't know if you can see, let's have a quick look. Can you see the handbrake connector? It's just in here. If I go down a little bit, there you go. Can you see it just moving down? Now that bolt on the end of it, that is what we're going to need to undo. So we're going to have to get a 10mm long um, socket on there to undo that. Now you can tell when these are actually going because it starts getting, I don't know if you can just see that, but it starts getting, as it's gone down, it's got really, really floppy and weak. Well, obviously that means that the cable's not gripping properly because it's stretched. So... Let's get ourselves a socket on that and undo it. As you can see, it's right there. I need to come up a little bit just so I can get the socket on it. Okay, so I've undone most of it now. Now, you've got to be very careful because you don't want to lose the nut underneath the centre console because that means you're going to have to undo the whole centre console. So get it near the end and then try to do it by hand. You see, I'm right on the end of the thread there. So once it gets really loose, I'll take the bar off and try getting hold of the nut because we need to re reuse this nut on the new piece. It's a nylon nut, so it obviously locks itself in place. So just get your fingers in there. Right. And there we go, that's the nut we wanted. So that makes this totally loose as anything now. So what we need to do is go underneath the car and basically unhook this section. So you can see there's the thread. So obviously that needs to come back through what we've just undone. And then basically just link this in and then put the other one back on. Right, well, let's go jack the car up. Okay, time to jack it up. We are gonna jack up both sides and uh, obviously we're gonna use an axle stand to make sure that it's nice and secure. Obviously something to take note of. Now, obviously I'm gonna use chocks under the wheels, but I have left the car in gear. So that will mean, obviously the rear wheels are locked up, so it's not gonna roll backwards and forwards when we're jacking it up. Because obviously the handbrake is not working because it's not connected anymore. Obviously we're all up on axle stands and very, very secure. Oh look, there it is, we can see it up there. Can you see that just up there? It's very hard for me to point out with, can you see just, there we go, it's very, very greasy. And I'm guessing this just pulls out of it, it does. Right, so let's try unhooking the, there we go, I've managed to unhook that. So hopefully that will mean that, well, it's very, very yucky, isn't it? can't quite see what it actually does. Oh, I think it literally just slides in there. I'm not too sure, just a little bit more, there we go, and it unhooks. Did you see that just unclip? Now, obviously we've got one on the other side. We need to try to unhook this side. So obviously what we need to do is slide this, six, this out again to be able to move the cable around enough because that's what I wasn't doing a second ago. Let me just turn you around just to get my other hand on it. So what we need to do is unhook this, use my big screwdriver so you can see, just need to pivot this thing out of its holder like that, there we go. And now we can see a hell of a lot more, I've got to turn you around again I'm afraid. And now we should be able to rotate that round, it's now loose, and put it out of its hole. There is a little bit of space problem with your hands in here, but ah, there we go, and there it is out. Okay, let's have a look. Right, so I'm guessing this thing just pulls out. 
could be wrong. Well, maybe it doesn't. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to set the center console out. So I'm gonna undo all the screws for that, lift the center console out, and then we'll see what's holding it in place. A few inches later. Okay, so we have everything now, obviously all the center console pushed back there out of the way. It didn't undo everything, it's got wire in there obviously. So from what I can see is there's three bolts, one, two, three. And that looks like it's gonna take the whole handbrake mechanism out. So I'm gonna undo these three bolts. And I'm going to guess we're going to get the whole thing come out. Um, not quite sure why you would make it like this. But hey, who am I to question why? I just try to fix it. Yeah, you can see it all wiggling now. Underneath is loose. Because we did that underneath, didn't we? You can see it down there, actually. Look, coming through. Oh, we've got a wire. Forgot the wire. Need to undo the wire because this is the handbrake. Tell it that the handbrake's on, so we undo that wire. Oh, and look, it, it's in there as well. Can you see this down here? It's just clipped in there. That's the easiest thing in the world, and you can't do it because you've only got one hand. There we go, so it's unclipped. Right, so now, the whole handbrake mechanism is loose. And look, once we've got it past all the wires, we've got it out. And let's go and take a look at this. Okay, I can't see. We'll take that off of there. Oh, look, it's got a wedge here. I don't know if you can see this, it's like wedged in there. It does look very slightly different, the new one. So we'll have a look at that. Shouldn't it feed it out now? Out of the rubber boot and hope that it is the right one. That was quite tight. So let's undo the new one and hope that we've got the right part here. Oh, it is. It does have the bolt section on it, I just didn't notice. So let's hide them side by side. So comparing up. Wow. If that is just stretched, there is a difference in length. I'm believing this is just over a course of time because I can't believe, I mean, this has ever been changed out. So this is probably just a 20 year old handbrake handle that is just stretched over 20 years. And the first thing we need to do is try to get this bolt back into this rubber section, which I can't imagine is gonna be very easy. So we're gonna put a bit of, Lithium grease on the end of it. A little bit, it was quite a lot. And then a bit on this thread here as well to try to attempt to let it go through. Um, and it did, there we go. It did push through. Okay, so now we're through the rubber boot. So now what we need to do is stick it actually on the handbrake section. So we showed you earlier, there's this lock section. So we just push the bolt into the lock section. We're gonna put the a bolt, we, remember we took off earlier, and I said keep hold of that nut. So we're just gonna do that up finger tight so it doesn't come off. Reclip the plastic back on. It just literally clips in place. And there we go, that's back on. Now this whole assembly can go back in the car. We just need to feed this back under the car. You can see that this is pushing that through the hole. Obviously missing all my wiring again. This is what you get with aftermarket wiring, unfortunately. So just bring all this around, make sure I'm not pulling anything out or damaging anything as I'm going. Make sure the wires come around here as well. Right, and we're back into the original holes. So we just need the original bolts that came out of the floor and do these back up. Once we've done that, we need to climb back underneath the car and try hooking that section in. Let's just find the other bolt. This was the more awkward one because it was right down behind the handbrake. I mean, hopefully this is going to solve a very, very common fault on the Nissan 350. I'm going to click our harness back in, click our wire back on, Let's get back under the car and try clicking this back in. What we need to do is slide this back in. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, I've managed to wedge the camera so you can see what I'm doing. 
So I'm going to rotate this round a little bit. Just try to get this into its... It's a very fiddly little thing to do, but hopefully if we get this in this ball joint, there we go. Now that's one. We're not going to click it into its little hold stay section yet, which we've got to click that in there, haven't we? Because we want to get the other side in first. So let's go over to the other side. Trying to push the bobble back in because we've actually got it in there. We just need to locate it a bit better. There we go, and she's in. Right, hopefully you can see now that's both sides in. So all we need to do is clip these things back in. Again, it's not going to be a difficult thing because you just need to line them up and clip them in. And now push both sides and there's the clip. Right, and now back to the other side. And exactly the same job as what we just did on that side. is just line this section up in between the two pieces. Let's just get my camera lit. Okay, and then push on the wire until it clicks. So this is really our moment of truth because what we're going to now do is go back in the car, do the handbrake handle up, and uh, well, let's see if it... We shouldn't really do this. We should put, the, put all the center console back first, but we want to see if this will work. Now you can see it's already pulled the cable out. All right, we're just gonna do this up a little bit. Not too much. We just want to make sure it's done what we want it to do. You can see we're still loose at the moment. We don't want to do it too tight, so we don't want to cause that stretching again. So that's come down. Wow, that's a difference. Automatically, right. We're going to get the interior back into this car and then we're going to do this up properly. But straight away, that's the handbrake on almost full. It's nowhere near the ceiling. So obviously we know it's working because the car's rolling without it on. And what we got? About five clicks. I reckon we can do up a little bit further. Although that's really, really good compared to what it used to be. I'm going to put it in gear so we don't move. But we're going to just do it up a little bit more, which actually need to pull the handbrake up a little bit to be able to get it on the bolt. Right, let's have a look. One, two, three. If you pull it hard four and the car doesn't roll. Well, that is a very, very successful job. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find this useful. Please do hit that subscribe button. Let me know if this video has been useful and uh, we'll see you again in another Idiot in His Garage. Take care.